light cycle. How about that? What do you what do you think about the, the light, light cycle for some people? Are, All right. Um, are saying that you shouldn't uh, you should give a period of darkness for the auto flower. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I believe I truly believe that every plant needs to have a sleeping cycle. Just because an auto flower doesn't grow by a time schedule or a light schedule, sorry, it it still it still has its sleeping times. It still has its time where you can you can watch the the plant that at 18 hours you can start seeing those leaves start to droop down again. And at that point, in my opinion, that's when I will turn the lights off. It's already reached its DLI for that day, and we're able to it's able to sustain itself. You don't need to run it for the tw- uh, the 24. I think the extra six or the extra four hours between that 20 or 24 hour, I think is just money coming out of your pocket and it's not really giving you the bonus you're really looking for, in in, in my opinion. Uh, I think uh, the best light cycle for autoflowers is 18.6. I've run them on 12.12 and I personally think I, you do get a, um, you get a decrease in yield and quality um, if you're not giving it the appropriate amount of light. So if if you're giving if you have a an under if you have an underpowered LED, it's probably better for you to go with an auto flower and 18 hours a day because you can reach your DLI and you can get dense buds. If you're growing photo periods and you don't have the best light, it's hard to get your full DLI in the 12 hour time period just like an auto flower. So it's easier in a more budget friendly setup to get that with the auto flower. I'm not saying autoflower is the next best thing. I think it's a, it's a place where we can finally kind of regulate everything a little bit. I think we can finally stabilize things a little bit. And we've seen that over the last couple of years with autoflowers that it has stabilized a lot. But yeah, I, I truly, back to the light question, I truly think that 18.6 is the, the, is the light cycle for autoflowers. I don't think it should be changed. What if you in my opinion. reduce the light to extend so the DLI is achieved at the 24-hour mark. So you're lowering your overall. Okay, yeah, so you so still still get DLI within within the 24 yeah. hours instead of 18 hours. Yeah, okay. So if you're doing it that way then, then it's all, in my opinion, now it's all about light coverage. So now you have to focus, because right now to get it to low enough par or low enough wattage and par, which usually equals very similar when you're looking at light numbers, um, if you're trying to get very similar numbers to give you that DLI for the whole thing, you're either going to have to use a low wattage light with high, lots of coverage. So you're still getting those dense plants over it. Cause at, for an example, if you're in a two by four ten and you've got a hundred watt light, that hundred watt light, the normal hundred watt lights are little tiny QBs, right? They're more of a, a square. It's not filling out that whole two by four. So even if you have 24 hours of light, you might not be getting the full coverage of the, of the whole plant. Only maybe one branch of that plant might be getting its perfect par or DLI for the whole day. So when you start getting down to lowering your wattage to increase your t- light's time on to give you the same par, you're now looking at getting a larger light to be able to cover that whole area, to be able to grow your plants closer, to be able to get that par in that same 24 hours. And it's a lot harder. I think it's just easier just to go down to 18. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This clip is brought to you by AC Infinity. Use discount code Mr. Grow at 15 to save on any of their products.